Hello, my friend. Welcome to Tube Your Channel. I'm Harold. Today, I will tell you how to make primary gear with 3D printer. I will use Fusion 360 to design the motor. I will tell you how to make it very easy and tell you the tricks what to do. Primary gear is also called epicyclic gear. It consists of a sun gear, usually in the center. Around the sun gear is planet gear and the outer ring gear. The gear ratio is calculated according to which part is fixed and which is driving force. The most used type that the outer ring gear fixed. The sun gear is driving and the planet gear is output. The gear ratio is written like this. There are a lot of good tutorial videos that explain how to calculate the gear ratio. This video is very good, that explains very clear and simple. Just keep in mind that in one set of primary gear, the module of all gears are the same. Otherwise, the gear will slip. It is very obvious that the gear T number should be an integer. Otherwise, the gear is broken. How to calculate the gear T's number for all parts is complicated, even it is not so difficult. I have found some good methods that can reduce this worthless effort. One is HTML-based internet calculator called Planary Gear Calculator. The link is listed in the description below. You can change the planet number, T's number, and other parameters. The calculator will give you the correct combination of the parameters. The other is free software that works on your computer. The link is also listed in the description below. After download and install, then run the program. The interface is very simple and neat. You can change all parameters of the planetary gear design used. Also, you can see some combination parameters is not correct, that they will cause corruption of the gear. I select one set of the parameters that I will use in my project. This software can even output the gear set DXA file that can be used for most 2D or 3D design software. It looks very nice, but my old computer cannot handle it when I open it with Fusion 360. So I just use the parameters and design directly with Fusion 360. Open Fusion 360. In the Tools menu, you can find the add-ins. This is the add-on or script that can run directly in the Fusion 360. Let's find Spur Gear. If you cannot find this item, then please click Fusion 360 Application Store. Search the gear and you can find the Spur Gear Creator or something like this. They are mostly free. After download, they will install automatically. Maybe you will need to restart Fusion 360 once a time. Now, we can find this item in the add-ins. Click around, then it will show in the solid Create Spur Gear. A pop-up sub-menu will show you here. We can select the parameters that I just calculate. The module is 0.5 mm. The sun gear pitch diameter is 6.0 mm, which is almost the smallest gear size for a cheap 3D printer. The number of T's is 12. The backlash is similar to the clearance for a 3D printer. We can see the difference between 0 mm to 0.5 mm backlash. Choose a correct one that fits your 3D printer. I choose 0.2 mm as a test. The root fillet radius is like a fillet. I use 0.2 mm as a test. The gear thickness, you can select the thickness number that you like. I finally use 3 mm for the test. The hole diameter, you can also choose by yourself. Click OK to finish the design. Sometimes it will show some error message and not works. You can just run it again, then it should be OK. Now some gear is finished. We continue the planet gear design. All parameters are the same as the sun gear except the number of these. 
I use 24 teeth as a test. Click OK to finish the planet gear design. Since we use three planet gears in this motor, make another two copies of the planet gear. First, move the planet gear to the correct position. Rotate 7.5 degree. Use pattern function to make copies. Select the planet gear component. Select the center axis, Z axis as the center. Now the planet gear set is finished. Now we start to design the ring gear. Do you still remember the principle of the planetary gear design? All gear use the same module. Open one of the gear components, such as sun gear. Select the sketch of the gear. Extrude the gear as a sample. Move this tooth to the ring position. Create a sketch from this tooth. Make a circular ring pass through the center of one side. Make another circle that the diameter is larger than the above ring. Finish the sketch. Extrude these two rings to make a tube. Combine it with the tools. Modify. Make a total of 60 copies using the pattern function. Combine them together. Now the ring gear is finished. It looks okay. Then I add some other parts that can connect them together, such as make a carrier that combines three planet gears together. Also, some bearing to make it move smoothly. Add a cover to close all parts. Use some gear as input. The ring gear is fixed. The output gear is fixed with three planet gears as a carrier. The gear ratio is 6. Now print them together. I immediately find that the sun gear and the planet gears are difficult to insert into the ring gear box, since the 3D printed parts have a little bit large, and sometimes the elephant foot phenomena make that even worse. The small sun gear has no sufficient power to rotate the planet gears. I change the parameters again. This time I use a little bit larger sun gear. Then try it again. This time it works quite well, in the no load condition. But when I add some force to the output gear, the carrier easily stopped. I suppose it is caused by the gear slip, since the gear is small. The precision of my 3D printer is not good enough for this small gear. And the backlash or other adjusted parameters are not well done. I change the parameters again. This time I will use a little bit larger module, 0.8mm. The other parameters are listed below. By decreasing the output ring gear teeth number, the final size of all gear sets is a little bit larger than the last one. At the first time, 
You may use some force to help the gears rotate. After they fit together and work, they become more and more smooth. It works very well. Also, the output shaft did not sleep since the gears fit good enough. Now I have finally made a working plenary gearbox. You can also do the same work using the similar procedure. It is quite easy and simple with the help of the plenary gear calculator. If you have seen the video here, please do me a favor. Subscribe to my channel and click the small bell. So you will not miss an update. Till your channel is waiting for you.